What's up? What's good? It's your girl B here and I am back with yet another hair video. You guys, for today's video I'm bringing you guys a requested video and that is how to install a wig using got to be glued free spray and gel. Now y'all know I've been away from got to be glued free spray for a while but today, yeah! You know, it's time to hit a little razzle dazzle one, two, one, two, and hit it back to the G. You feel me? So, for today's look, I've partnered up with Nadula Hair to bring you guys today's video. And I will also be showing you guys how to get rid of or cover up chicken skin. Now, when it comes to any type of adhesive, even besides got to be, you are going to want to clean off your hairline or your forehead with some 91% alcohol. So that way, everything will stick a whole lot better. And then you're going to take your gel first and put a light or thick layer. I use a very light layer because I know it's going to go over top with the spray and put it all over your hairline or your forehead preferably so you won't mess up your edges i quickly then go over that with my spray after a couple of seconds you're going to want to tap the gel and you should get a bit of a bounce back and that means that it is ready for you to apply your lace to the gel now you're going to want to take your time putting your lace onto this gel because even though this is not a glue this is some pretty sticky stuff um once i put the lace on top of the gel i'm going to take my rat tail comb and just push the lace into the gel and pushing it back into the hair line now i did not do my sideburns at all because i struggle with those y'all already know those beat me up every single time so i saved that to adhere last along with cutting my ear tabs if you guys struggle with cutting your ear tabs so do i so i'm not the one to teach you honey i ain't gonna sit here in front and lie to you i will link a video down below that will properly show you how to care for and cut your ear tabs all right because i'm not the one i will mess you up Now, at the beginning of the video, you guys saw those little white dots on my lace. <sighs> Y'all know I overbleach. I overbleach a lot, and um, today was no different. I overbleached a heck of a lot. To get rid of those little dots is really simple. All you're going to do is just use your powder. It's the same technique that I use for my Turn Any Lace HD video. If you guys have not seen that video, I will leave it down below in the description box. So I didn't really get too detailed in showing you guys how I did this, but it's pretty much simple and self-explanatory. For this though, I do recommend you guys using a very light and fluffy brush, like an eyeshadow brush. But for this particular install, I did use a more dense brush because I knew I had to really get up into the lace and get those knots. So I wasn't being too light. And as you guys can see, I was kind of doing like a stamping motion. And then to kind of conceal and define my part, I did go in with my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade N7 Classic Tan. All right, y'all, this is how everything ended up turning. I do want to firstly very very briefly um let you guys know how I feel or still feel about the got to be glued I still am overusing it but as far as functionality as far as it working honey it still works okay I did get a request to do a video showing how to use got to be glued gel and spray this method of tacking down your wig still does work am I gonna use it from now on probably not am I gonna incorporate it when doing my wigs from here and there maybe now let's just jump into this hair honey first things first this hair is from nadula hair this is their body wave texture i did go ahead and straighten her out i was gonna throw some curls in her but last night i got really really lazy and just left her straight i do have a few points though on this hair that i do want to point out this hair is body wave y'all know i typically go for body wave when i want to straighten out silken out my unit that's exactly what i did with this one i did it off camera because i do have a silkening tutorial and because i did not want to make the video any more long or any more repetitive than i already do you guys have seen me straighten hair a thousand and one times but i will link down below my straightening routine my silkening routine down below in the description box so guys make sure to check that out i did straighten this hair but i do not recommend you guys doing that i do think that this hair is best worn 
curled because of the texture of this hair when it is straightened. Uh, I know I've mentioned that before in previous videos, but I kind of have a good gauge on how hair feels, whether it's going to be good for straightening or good for curling. And this hair is definitely going to be very, very good for curling purposes, which is why I kind of regret not curling it now because it would have been completely bomb. It would have went off. I'm not saying by any means this hair is bad. It's straightened. I just personally feel as if you're going to get your money's worth and the most out of this quality if you in fact curl this hair so this is a body wave texture that is best worn curled as you guys can see this hair did get bone straight body wave hair is meant to be the best hair to curl okay i just particularly straighten my body wave units because i just love straight hair as far as melting this lace did beautifully i did over bleach my knots a heck of a lot um i kind of got chicken skin if you guys saw it in the clips I had like these white dots everywhere. I ended up leaving the bleach on the hair overnight, which was a big no-no, a big mistake for me. I've been doing that a lot lately. You guys know I kind of typically go for over bleach knots anyways, just not this much over bleach. You guys may be able to kind of tell, kind of a little bit, not really because I kind of masked it. I kind of covered it up with the um, powder. The hairline came pretty good, but I did go in a little bit and kind of break it up. I did a little bit of a one-two before I cut the camera on. So I can say the hairline did come pre-plucked. I just did a little bit extra, and of course I just added my baby hair. I told y'all I'm really getting into this two baby hair type thing, and it's loving me, and I'm loving it. So yeah, you guys, that is it for today's video. A big thank you to Squats and Adula Hair for bringing you guys today's look. I am enjoying this unit. Thank you so much for sending this unit to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive family, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Boy, you over here, do you understand me? I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, what? And as always, my lovelies, I love every single one of you. But until next time, your crown may too, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.